Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to uh, make just a simple BLE project and uh, in this project we are just going to test uh, some uh, initial stuff that we need to do before we start uh, the programming uh, tutorials and uh, it's a good way to check your configurations if they are working or not. Uh, right now <coughs> we are just going to uh, create a new project so first let's start crea creating a new project and in this project uh, uh, this project will be a simple uh, example project and we will just uh, uh, compile it and uh, test it on our devices if uh, this uh, this project is working and then we will see how we uh, see the communication and uh, how everything is working for this project uh, I'm also using a USB dongle in this project which is NRF 52840 so I have this uh, USB dongle with me as well and uh, uh, with the, this USB dongle uh, we can just uh, uh, check it on uh, this software uh, the NRF connect on the PC uh, but don't worry if you don't have this uh, we can also check this on Android and uh, uh, of course the Apple uh, phones so uh, don't worry we will see wha what applications are avail available uh, in the Android and uh, Apple so first of all let's uh, uh, create the project so go into my computer in the C directory okay so right now we have the NRF SDK 17 and uh, it's the latest of course uh, right now we are going to work on this one so uh, from now on I will be working on SDK 17 let's start by creating a, a folder here so I will name this folder as my projects and in this folder we will basically copy and uh, start uh, building our application uh, let's start so this is uh, my project now uh, folder and uh, here I will copy an example uh, today because we are and uh, one more thing here uh, I will start with BLE peripherals first and uh, then we will move to central so as a peripheral or a slave role or server uh, our device will act as a slave device and uh, we will be programming it in the uh, upcoming series so let's go to BLE peripheral and uh, from here I'm just gonna copy this BLE app blinky I will copy this and go back to my projects paste it here open this and uh, I will go into PCA 10040 if I'm using NRF 52832 uh, but today I will be using NRF 52840 so I will open PCA 10056 so I will open the uh, Sagar Embedded Studio SES folder here I have this project uh, file EM project file I will open this and here is our Blinky project so I'm just gonna change one thing here let's say uh, I will just write uh, SEE Smart Embedded Engineering and uh, SEE and BT let's say uh, I would name this uh, Bluetooth as this and uh, everything is uh, similar we are just not going to change anything else all of this code uh, will be explained in the upcoming tutorials so don't worry this is just a test and everything is configured so uh, right now I'm using NRF 52840 and I have open S140 okay if you are using NRF 52832 we will see uh, in uh, a couple of minutes so first of all let's see NRF 52840 so I will just open target uh, connect and uh, we haven't built this code yet so I will build it and it's compiling once the compilation is finished uh, I'm just gonna go here and uh, erase the device because it's already connected here and uh, I'm just gonna download this okay so guys well once we download this uh, program uh, to our device we can see here there is a light uh, which is turned on the D1 light so uh, I'm just gonna see one more thing here I will open the terminal because I have connected the USB so I'm just gonna see where is my port connected right now so I will 
go into this computer uh, this PC and uh, go into the properties then in device manager if I close this uh, go here and here is my uh, COM port which is connected and here it's a COM5 so I will minimize this and uh, write COM5 here and uh, the baud rate is 11.52.0 and it's serial communication I'm using putty terminal uh, let's open this and I'm just gonna reset it and here we can see RTC is initialized, app timer is initialized, and a Blinky application or a Blinky example has started. So we don't see any other information here. The next thing is I am using the Nordics uh, dongle, uh, which is uh, based on uh, PCA10059, and I will uh, connect it uh, to the USB. Uh, this is the dongle that I am using. So if you have this dongle, then it's going to be better. It's still okay if uh, you don't have this. Uh, you can use uh, your Android uh, phone or Apple iPhone. So I'm just gonna connect it. Okay, now I have connected uh, the dongle and uh, uh, right now we are ready to see uh, the stuff on our PC. So I'm just gonna open this NRF Connect application for uh, the Windows PC. Uh, we have this available for Mac and uh, Linux as well. Uh, you can download uh, its version uh, as we have seen in the previous uh, tutorial where you can download from the NRF Nordics website and uh, install it in your PC uh, so I'm just gonna open this I will open this uh, Bluetooth low energy and now it's opened and uh, uh, here is our Nordic Semiconductor NRF 5.2 connectivity. So it's a USB dongle that we have connected. If uh, you connect your USB dongle, maybe for the first time, it's going to say uh, the uh, USB dongle has been connected, but it does not have the firmware. So it will uh, upload a new firmware into that. Uh, so uh, you should uh, uh, agree to that and uh, click on yes, and then it's going to upload that firmware and after that you can see your USB here otherwise you won't be able to see that here uh, the dongle so I'm just gonna click here and now uh, this uh, dongle is uh, ready this is going to communicate with the peripheral devices so right now it's ready and uh, we have our device so let's start scanning and as you can see here this is the first SEEBT uh, which I named uh, my device and uh, let's connect with this and uh, look here it's uh, connected uh, with uh, my dongle and uh, I'm using that and let's see in generic access here we have this stuff we will see all of this uh, in the next uh, tutorial so don't worry about this so uh, for this I hope so you have learned something new today and uh, if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this tutorial see you in the next video